Welcome back to the Dragon Den, my loyal Dragon Knights King of Dragons 5000 is back with another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Figma Metroid Dread Samus Eren. And so here we have Samus pose and out of the packaging and do we have a lot to unpack with this figure. Before we have a look at her details let's run through her accessories. Samus comes with three different left hands for style posing her standard arm cannon and the Omega cannon. Finally we do get an accessory for her to use the spider cling, as well as her morph ball which is very impressive. Other than that Samus really doesn't come with any other accessories so with that out of the way let's have a closer look at her details. Figma has done an amazing job bringing the Metroid Dread Samus to life in action figure form and it is spectacular. All the paint and details that go into this figure brings her to life and I absolutely love what they did here. First taking a look at her helmet, they did an amazing job just sculpting and detailing the helmet here. The helmet has this really nice metallic red sheen to it and the visor on it is this metallic green as well. We do have some metallic purple tubes running down the front of her mask and there is some darker red on the top of her helmet. And all those panel lines look amazing going all the way down to the ventilation on the back of her helmet. There is a lot to talk about on her torso looking at this very vibrant red on her chest it looks amazing. It does have some green accents on either side of her chest and there is some metallic blue in the center of her chest as well. Along her shoulder connection you can see there is some metallic blue parts to it as well. The back of her armor is nicely detailed where we do have her thrusters on the back and then we have some more panel lining detailing as well. Her shoulder armor looks impressive done in metallic blue and you can see it does look like some armor plating and almost some organic tissue on the inside. On the outside of either shoulder we do have these really nice green circles which look amazing and they're painted wonderfully. The metallic organic blue parts of her armor do wrap around her white armor parts on her arm which look impressive. Her left arm is pretty standard where we do have that metallic blue armor crisscrossing along the white part of her armor as well. On the back of her hand she has that green circle as well as blue metallic accents along the white parts of her armor. And on her right arm she does have her arm cannon which is done in this almost metallic olive color. She does have some copper accents along the side of her arm cannon and we do have some yellow lights throughout the cannon as well. Her abdomen is done in this really nice white armor and we can see some panel lines on it. The metallic blue is done really nicely especially on the organic parts on her leg which go down all the way to her knees. And the white bits of her armor are still exposed on her thighs and you can see some really nice panel lining there. Going down to some metallic blue armor plating which looks amazing here on Samus and there is some white on the back of her calves. Going all the way down to her feet where her feet also have that armor plating which looks amazing. The metallic blue looks amazing here on the armor plating on her feet and once again we do have some green circles on the hinges on the back of her armor. So overall the detailing here on Samus is spot on and is really accurate to what we saw in the video game. So with her details out of the way, let's have Samus compare it to our usual suspects. Here we have Samus posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and DC Multiverse Superman. Mattel's WWE Elite Series and Mezco's 112th Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. The Lightning Collection White Ranger and the Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally we have the Metroid Dread Samus posed next to the Metroid Prime 3 Corruption Samus. So overall she will scale nicely to the rest of your 112th scale, unfortunately she's not the size of domestic figures. So with her comparisons out of the way let's have a look at Samus's articulation. Samus has a ball joint in the head and a ball joint in the neck. Butterfly joints and ball socketed shoulders. Arms go out to the side and do a full 360. Swivel at her bicep and figma joint in her elbow. A ball hinge in her left wrist, double ball joint in her torso and a ball jointed lower torso. Legs do kick forward, go back, out to the side, have a thigh swivel and upper knee swivel. Double bend in her knee, ball hinge in her ankle and finally a toe hinge. So overall an impressive articulation scheme here on the Metroid Dread Samus. So with everything said and done, let's get Samus posed for my final thoughts. 
The Figma Metroid Dread Samus is a very impressive figure and I have to say one of the best figures to come out in 2023. The amount of detail done here on Samus is very impressive and the paintwork is phenomenal. It's honestly really hard for me to find flaws in the detailing here on Samus because the paint is done spectacularly well, it's really hard to find any flaws in it. Add to it, this Samus is an engineering marvel, being able to get her into any pose you can imagine, Figma went above and beyond to articulate Samus here. It's honestly really hard for me to find any flaws here with Samus, and it's almost a perfect figure. However, she is rather lacking in accessories, with only getting one set of hands, which is understandable for the character, but I'm not a fan of the spider cling accessory. If it was honestly up to me, I would have completely foregone the spider cling accessory and thrown in some blast effects for here with Samus. The morph ball is also a really nice accessory that I would have kept with this figure, and like I said, the only real negative I can say is the spider cling is rather lame and doesn't really work that well. But other than that, the positives far exceed the negatives on this fig, and I have to say that this is probably the best Figma figure that we've gotten in recent years. This is one figure that I say if you're a fan of Samus, do not sleep on this figure because it is done exceptionally well and everything about it works perfectly. Drop everything you're doing at this moment and go ahead and order Samus from sites like Big Bad Toy Store or see if she's still available on the Good Smile website. So with that being said, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and check out all my other Figma videos. Check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos, videos, recent pickups, latest prints, and as always, ring that bell so you never miss another video. And until next time, my fellow Dragonites coming from the Dragon Den, I'm King of Dragons 5000 reminding you to redesign, rebuild, and reclaim. I'll see you next time.